we're here in a very noisy brewery and uh, we just got to put this fizz with in head transfer mode. So currently this is in carbonation mode and we know it's completed its carbonation because the target pressure and the uh, bright tank pressure are the same or close, very very close to. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put this unit into head transfer mode and what that will do is it will take the CO2 input and it will connect the CO2 input directly to the arm fitting and it will start pumping CO2 directly from the regulator through the arm separator into the head space and once it gets there it's going to keep that pressure absolutely nailed in so we don't have any drifting around of head pressure. So if you have drifting around then the levels of your bottoms will go up and down. Okay, so I'm going to put this in head transfer mode now. So we say no to new batch. We come down a head pressure. And it's defaulted to 15 psi. You can reduce that or increase it depending on what you want. But most, most bottling lines want to run from 15 pounds per square inch. We're going to press go. And now we're going to see, this is going to jump around, uh, but it's going to slowly start filling the tank, the head pressure tank. It has reached 15 psi, and they are filling directly from this tank right now. And the second that the pressure drops below 15, it connects the CO2 input directly to the arm, and you'll see that the pressure jumps up, but then once it's settled out, you can see that it's settled out just slightly above 15 psi, and it will continue to do that all the way through the filling process. So this head pressure is only actually seeing a variation of about 0.02 psi, which means that your that the fill level in your bottles are going to be very very consistent.